Okay, questions for Maurice, please. Do you feel that the passing game is really starting to come together now? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, just from being in practice, just being on time and just making catches and seeing the results of the game and just making plays out there. You and Taste. TC are one of the top receiving duos in the country right now. I mean, is that something you knew you guys could do throughout camp and, you know, all the offseason? Uh, when me and him first met each other last year, we said we'll, like, we'll try with the office we was in last year, knowing like it wasn't going to happen, but just having a mindset and just coming here to work. And then having Coach Whip and Coach Beatty just boosted our confidence and just putting the work in and actually seeing it first in reality. So definitely. When you go back and watch that Penn State film, I mean, how much did some of those, or the, the couple of those Taysier catches kind of impress you, those one-on-ones down the side of the flyer? It was amazing. They, those were big-time catches in, in a big-time game that, that we needed to get down the field. And like I said, in practice, we, we try to one-up each other, and he definitely one up me in the Penn State game, the two-up, because he got two of them like that. So it was huge. All of your guys' touchdowns this year have been in the second quarter. Do you think that's a coincidence, or do you guys think that at that point in the game you guys are just getting into it? You think? Um, it's just I would say that's just the flow of the game. Not every not every play is going to be a big play, or not every play is going to be a touchdown every time. It's just something you just got to wait for your moment, and our, I guess our moment is in the second quarter. So, how do you guys uh, work on I guess the, the second half scoring because that has. Kind of been an issue. Kenny talked about that a little bit after the game, too. I mean, I think it's only been three points in the last three games. Like that. uh, that's just coming out, just being consistent throughout the game and just having energy. Uh, you know, first half, everybody's pumped up. And second half, you're coming out of halftime. You've been sitting down, been chilling, just talking over plays and stuff like that. But you, as a team, we just have to keep that energy and just keep being consistent throughout the game. You're coming from behind like you were in the fourth quarter. Two, two. Just more more urgency. Uh, you know time is going against you. So every little thing, every little detail, every little step you take in your route and your dab or anything, you just got to make sure it's crisp, it's on time, and it's well needed at the time. You don't want to be too short, too deep. You just mm -hmm. got to do what you got to do. On those scoring drives, what have you seen out of going back and looking at them? What have, what have you seen out of Kenny? Specifically, because it feels like he just kind of gets in a gets in a groove. Almost. Yeah, that that's probably what I was gonna say. He he definitely gets in a groove, and he just throws everything on time. When he, when he's Kenny, and he he does what he do, he he's unstoppable, and he he knows where we at, and just knows what time to throw it at. So, yeah, looking at Central Florida, I mean, what do they do on defense so well, and you know how how do you prepare to go up against that? Um, one thing about UCF, they keep their home kids in and. They're all fast and they're aggressive as well. And just some, just going at them, we just have to be smart and just make sure we hold our details in and just do our job and we'll be fine. Anything else for Maurice?